the L-118 light gun, is the 105mm howitzer of choice for the British Army and has served its parachute and commando field artillery regiments since the mid-1970s. The weapon system was designed as a modern replacement for various outgoing types and intended to provide British Army units with a capable, lightweight and hard-hitting field gun that could be towed by vehicle or airlifted by transport aircraft, fixed-wing and rotary types, while also being light enough to be moved into position by its crew. The weapon has since seen extensive action in the Western Sahara War, the Falklands War, the Yugoslav Wars, the Sierra Leone Civil War and, most recently, the Iraq and Afghanistan Wars. In 1965, a new British Army requirement laid down the groundwork for an equally new light field artillery piece in the 105mm caliber with transport capability by truck tow, transport aircraft or transport helicopter. Design work ensued to which several prototype guns emerged and extensive evaluations were undertaken in 1968. The Army returned with some requested revisions before the weapon was finalized as the L-118, or, more formally, the gun, 105mm, field, L-118. The weapon was adopted in 1975 to which production followed by the Royal Ordnance Factory of ROF Nottingham. The first British artillery units received their new guns in 1976 and, within time, the weapon came to be known simply as the light gun. The L-118 makes use of various 105mm projectiles which are inserted into the vertical sliding breech. The firing system is electrically actuated, while the weapon relies on a hydropneumatic recoil mechanism to counter the inherently violent forces when firing the 105mm shell. At its core, the weapon is of a conventional design and layout, consisting of the main gun barrel with attached breech facility, sighting equipment and carriage unit. The carriage is of a box trail configuration and allows the gun to be fired with the wheels upright in the traditional sense or folded down. The gun barrel features an elevation limitation from minus 5 degrees to plus 70 degrees giving the gunnery crew an excellent tactical reach. Traversal is a full 360 degrees due to the design of the provided carriage platform. A skilled gunnery crew can fire off between 6 and 8 rounds per minute, and each projectile exits the barrel at approximately 2,300 feet per second, with a range out to 18,800 yards. Using base bleed, a crew can hit targets out to 22,500 yards. Sighting can be accomplished by way of an optical dial assembly while the automatic pointing system APS, allows the gunnery crew to make the gun ready for firing from a towed position within 30 seconds, assisted by a touchscreen interface. A gunnery crew is typically made up of six personnel though a minimum crew of four is acceptable to manage the firing function. One specialist handles the firing action proper while another operates the breech mechanism. Two persons manage the projectile and charge loading, reloading process while a further two personnel can assist as needed or guard the perimeter against potential incoming enemies. The L-118 is cleared to fire a plethora of 105mm projectiles, the L-31 is the general high explosive he, shell while the L-45 is a standard smoke shell utilized to screen allied battlefield actions or restrict enemy vision. The L-43 is a special illuminating shell that features an integrated parachute used in retarding the fall of an airborne flare for short spurts of daylight at low-light hours. The practice shell is the L-41 while the L-42 series is a high-explosive squash head HESH, anti-fortification round. The L-50 high-explosive he, is a newer offensive-minded projectile type while the L-52 is another smoke round of red phosphorus. The L-54 is another illumination shell though intended to work in conjunction with night vision equipment. The L-83 is a standard drill projectile. While the L-118 series of light field guns serves the British Army, it also exists in an Americanized guise as the L-119A1 of the US Army. The base, original, L-119 designation was reserved for a British Army version of the gun designed to fire existing stocks of the American M-1 ammunition, otherwise known as UK 105mm How to the British Army. These were primarily utilized in training new British artillery crews until the ammunition stocks expired. The L-119 was then removed from training ranks. The official US Army gun is therefore known formally as the M-119A1, and is slightly modified to suit American military requirements with production handled in US factories. 
Since its inception, the L-118 family of guns has been modernized in several ways that have included an integrated power supply, muzzle measuring device, an optics upgrade in 2002, lightening of the carriage in 2007 and new sights in 2010. Some changes were brought about through ongoing British Army actions in Afghanistan and Iraq. The L-118 has also seen adoption into frontline service with the armies of Australia, and New Zealand to which the Osses know it as the Hamel Gun and produce the type under license. For the British, production of the L-118 has moved from the Royal Ordnance Factory label to BAE Systems Land and Armaments, a subsidiary of defence powerhouse BAE Systems, Incorporated.